Hello everyone, Cricket and Corky's Clubhouse coming at you with another unboxing video as I wave my knife around. Um, this is just a quick video. I'm in a little bit of a hurry today, but I just got this box in the mail uh, and and I'm excited to see what is going on. So um, this was something really cool that I got. I had to pay shipping, but otherwise it was donated to me. So a um, friend of mine knows that I am always on the lookout for Miss Jill. So thank you to all of my subscribers and friends for always keeping an eye out and helping me rescue poor Jills. Um, this one was especially nice to find because she was literally going to the garbage. So um, uh, this lady, I think her mother may have either is, is in a, an um, older person's home or she has passed, but she was, I guess, a doll hoarder, um, meaning that she just had hundreds and hundreds of dolls that were just like thrown in a shed outside and they were all in really bad shape and, you know, none of them had been restored and they were all piled up and, um, Anyway, there was a really bad shape Jill that was in there, and the lady was going to toss her, but she thought she would see if anyone was interested in trying to save her, and luckily I was alerted to the fact. So, um, I don't have a lot of high hopes for her because she was stored in, like I said, like an outside shed, so she's probably going to be in really bad shape, um, but... Hopefully, I can either restore her or um, she will be great to help other Jills along the way. So, uh, I don't... This lady wasn't a doll expert, so even though I mentioned how to pack uh, Jill, I don't think she did so. Um, so, her legs... She's in this... Like, this box is too small. So, she's obviously been at the legs. Her legs are probably broke. Um, she was missing an arm to begin with, so that's nothing, nothing that's going to be new there. Let's see if we can pull her out to uh, see what we're dealing with here. All right. Um, no tapes, no clothes, no anything, just Jill. Uh, yep, her legs, they are bent, but there's this bubble wrap that's pretty tight so there's a possibility that they're just bent and they're not broken which should be great because anytime we can save any part of a jewel that's awesome all right so see she is kind of not showing up on the screen so let me move her over there she is all right so she is um Pretty good shape. Her hair is still good. It needs to be washed, obviously. Um, she's not faded. Let's see. Okay. Her eyes are down, but it sounds like the piece is still in there. Her eyelashes are okay. I might be able to revive them. So, so far, so good. Her arm made it, which is always nice. I said she only has one arm, and um, the lady said before she realized she thought about giving away, she thinks she threw the other arm away a while back when they were cleaning. So it is what it is, but you know, that's what spare parts are for. So, all right, well, I was hoping I could just unwrap her, but she is. Quite snug, which I'm okay with. Oh, it's in her hair. I'm trying to keep her on camera at least. Um, I don't know if that is a separate piece. It's always fun trying to do unboxing, especially because Jill's heavy and yeah. Just mainly wanted to show show you that I got her and um, just kind of get like first impressions of what her damage looks like. All right, I'm gonna move her leg up here. So that was a good sign that her legs sounded nice. 
We've, got, we've had the clicking noise there. Um, really? Oh, okay. She's taped on the doll. All right. Wow. Okay, boy. So, uh, one leg, this leg is nice and stiff, good at the ankle. This leg, uh, well, that looks like some kind of glue, but I don't feel anything broke on the inside. All right, well, I'll have to take a look at that. It might just be some kind of residue. Um, yes, as predicted, I was very worried about that. Her screws are like super duper rusty. I know you can't see them, but they are like, wow, really bad rusted. So she could be in a lot of trouble. Um, she's very dirty. All right, here comes the, the moment of truth. Yeah, it definitely looks like I see some rust in there. Boo. Right, and let's see why well, she's actually got like spider webs down in her screw holes back here. All right, let's see what we got in here. I'm scared to open this actually. Something's going to jump out at me. Wow, she can't even get it open. Hmm. Well, that's a first. It's like melted or something. I don't want to break it. Oh. That sounds horrible. What was it? Wow. Yeah, there's. It's not broke, but there's glue. Like it was glued in there. How random. Um, okay, well, this is good news at least. Um, I, I guess because that was glued on there, I don't know, but her battery compartment, looks like there might be a little corrosion here on this one, but other than that, it looks like it's actually in okay condition. So there's hope for Miss Jill yet. Uh, oh, this is probably, uh, that could be something too. So I guess originally her arms were broken off probably for a long time, as you see the socket there. Um, and they had it taped up for a while, wherever, wherever that arm went to, but like it's just so old, this tape is like brittle. But what I'm concerned with is it looks like they tried to super glue it, but there's like super glue madness in there. Like it's, I see it on the board, which is not good because obviously you can't get super glue off the circuit board. Um, yeah, this is all, this is also, also going to be problematic when I try to open her because it looks like they kind of super glued all around this ring. Oh yeah, she's going to be a lot of work, but I am happy to have her and I think I only paid like 30 something dollars to ship. So she was donated. Um, but yeah, we're going to work on her at some point. Nick, Nick sounds good. Her arm works. So there's, there's definitely potential in this poor Jill. And she was going to end up in the landfill. So I am, I am happy that my friend alerted me of her and that now she has a, a chance at least to either work again or help other Jills work again. So um, that was it. Just a quick little video here. Like I said, I have got to bolt, but I wanted to go ahead and open her up and see what kind of condition she was in. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you. Bye Jill, with your one hand. We'll see you in the next video.